ID may not protect you like you think it does. Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay Mills. And I'm Chris Costa in for Lee Goldberg. The days of 1-800 numbers are long gone and scammers are smarter than ever. Now using your phone number to scam others. Some of you know exactly what we're talking about and reached out to us on Facebook. Now, Maine's complaint examiner is traveling around the state to warn people. And Christina Rex, anybody can fall prey to this one. Yeah, guys, so this isn't a grandma scam. This isn't a Nigerian prince asking you to wire him money. Sometimes it's not even an automated voice. This is a scam that can dupe anybody. People call you from a number very, very close to your own number. So you answer not knowing who or what is on the other line. With regards to this fabulous promotion that we are doing. It's not your friend or your family or your kid's school. It's a scammer calling from a 207 number. We answer them just because we think it's somebody that we know. There are two similar scams. Spoofing, when someone imitates an existing phone number like your local hospital, police station, or even your mom. Then there's neighboring, when a scammer calls you from a number just a few digits off from yours. So you answer. Who's fallen for a scam? Maine's complaint examiner is warning locals about these robocalls, though she says you can't avoid. And there is nothing you can do to stop that. Absolutely nothing you can do to stop someone else from spoofing your number on caller ID. Caller ID was invented to protect us, but Courier says nowadays you can't trust it. If you don't know the number, she says send them to voicemail and call them back later if it's someone you know. Courier says she gets about 12,000 complaints each year. The number one being scams. These spoofing and neighboring scam calls can be about anything anything. Listen to this one sent to a local police officer. As there are four serious allegations pressed on your name at this moment. So how can you stop this from happening? Unfortunately, there's no easy answer. A lot of people say, well, I'm on the do not call list. Shouldn't that help? The do not call list is great for legitimate businesses, but scammers are not legitimate businesses. Courier recommends downloading free call blocking apps to report scam callers. And if someone spoofs your number and you start getting calls back from people you never even called, she says your best bet is to ignore them. It's not going to do you any good to get into a shouting match with a complete stranger over something you can't control. So we asked you for some of your scam stories and here's what you sent us. Jeffrey says he started answering the phone in multiple different languages just for fun and that he loved every minute of wasting the scammers time. Randy says if he doesn't know the number, he doesn't answer, which experts say is the right move. So good call, Randy. Fred says his favorite scam is the one where they call him about his car, except that he doesn't have a car. So he says he reports the number immediately. Dennis says he thinks this should be illegal. Well, Dennis, it actually is. And what I want to explain to you guys is, you know, this is illegal, but the problem is oftentimes these are callers overseas and the number she said pings so many different places that it's pretty much impossible for law enforcement to track. So don't answer. It happened to be on my own desk work phone. I know, I remember that it happened yeah, for weeks. It did. Christina, thank you so much. Of course.